Hello and welcome to Morris's Midweek Message. Just some announcements for this evening. We'll be back worshipping in the McWilliams Hall on Sunday morning for our toy service. So if you want to leave in a toy or to bring a toy with you, please do so. They must be new and unwrapped. You can still watch the service either online or through Facebook. Next Wednesday evening will be the last ever Morris's Midweek Message. As many of you know, I will be retiring uh, in February and we'll be moving house in January. So this seems to be an appropriate time to stop Morris's Midweek Message. So please join me next week for the very last one. Tonight we look at the first people who heard this good news of Jesus' birth, the shepherds. We read together in Luke chapter 2 and verse 8. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured it up up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. We know that God will bless this reading of his holy word. It was just an ordinary night on the hillside outside Bethlehem. The shepherds were doing their normal thing, looking after their sheep. When suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared. A frightening experience to begin with. But then the message unfolded and this angel was surrounded by the heavenly host. And this heavenly choir sang glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. And of course they had been given this wonderful message. That Messiah had been born and they would find him in a stable in Bethlehem. Why was it that these shepherds were the first to hear? They were way down the pecking order in society, nearly at the bottom actually. So why was it to shepherds that God chooses to reveal the birth of his son? Well, Jesus himself called himself the Good Shepherd. And so there's this huge affinity with shepherds. Psalm 23 is all about the Lord is my shepherd. Maybe that had something to do with it. Also, it is more than likely that these shepherds looked after very special sheep. The sheep that were to be taken to Jerusalem to the temple and they're used in the sacrifices of the temple as a sin offering to the Lord. And later on, John the Baptist was to say of Jesus, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So there on the mountainside, 
the angels revealed who this baby Jesus truly was. And so the shepherds decided that they would go and see if this was true. And as they entered that little stable, they saw the baby in the manger. They, they then realised that what the shepherd said was true. The shepherd realised who Jesus really was. Sometimes in our lives, God reveals his truth to us. And as he does so, we find it at times hard to believe. Yet, once we follow his instruction, as we, as we open our eyes and see, then we begin to realise the truth that is right there before us. So what happens when you realise the truth? Surely you've got to rejoice in it. And so the shepherds rejoiced at Jesus' birth. So much so that these men who were rather timid and loners out on the hillside suddenly became evangelists. They were filled with joy. They were filled with this good news. They told everybody about what they had seen and who had told them of this good news. They couldn't keep it to themselves. So sometimes we think we're a bit timid and not very important. Well, you are important. And suddenly when you get good news, wonderful news, you have really got to share it. At this Christmas season, we come and we offer our worship to God. He speaks to us just as the angels spoke to the shepherds. He speaks into our hearts. He reveals to us who Jesus is. Then it is our responsibility to check out if it's true. And once we do, and we realise who Jesus is, then it should fill our hearts with joy and thanksgiving. And we should rejoice at Jesus' birth. In the midst of all that is happening in our world today, in a year 2020, like no other that we have witnessed or could have imagined, even this time last year happening. One thing remains constant as we approach this Christmas season. The one who offers life, the one who offers hope, the one who offers peace, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world was born to become Saviour, Lord and Friend. That's good news for this Christmas season. Shall we pray together? Ordinary shepherds heard good news, tested it out, saw that it was true and then their hearts were filled with joy and they burst forth to tell the good news. Father, may we follow their example. At a time when the news surrounding us seems so difficult, we thank you for glimpses of light, a vaccine against the coronavirus. But more even than that, the knowledge that you have revealed to us your truth. It is up to us to realise that it is true. And when we do, to rejoice in it. So at this Christmas season, may there also be joy in our hearts. 
a sense of your presence with us and a hope for the future. May your peace dwell richly with us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen.